Hi everyone, uh, this is Mrs. Wana. We are still working on uh, the third quarter revision. Today I'm going to revise with you the relative pronoun. Uh, what are they? Uh, what's the purpose of using the relative pronoun? And the, uh, how to connect the two sentences together. Okay, now I can see Ahmed Ihab. Good morning, Ahmed. How to use the relative pronoun to connect two sentences together? I'd like to share with you. Um, There's a Ahmed, no Arabic, please. Stay good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, good morning. great. How are you? I hope that you and your family are safe. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay. Now, Ahmed, what can you see on your screen? Relative uh, pronouns. Yes, thank you. That's <laughs> great. No Arabic. No Arabic. No Arabic. And if you please, can you please, yes, if you will not stop talking, can you turn off your mic till I finish? Hello, good morning. Fine. Can you turn off your mic till I finish? I'm explaining for you right now. Hello, Miss. Fine. Yeah, Miss, hello. I say it again. Can you please turn off your mic till I finish, please? Yes, welcome. Okay, thank you. Yes, I'm just explaining. When I want to ask a question, I'll, I'll ask you to turn on your mic. Hello, Yafaris, how are you? I can see you right now. Okay, great. So, I told to tell you again, and today I'm going to revise with you the relative pronouns. What are they? How to use them to connect two sentences together? First, the relative pronouns are words like who, which, and that. And the relative pronoun here has two purposes. The first one, it can act like a subject of a sentence or it can act like an object for a sentence. Okay, the subject, it means that uh, the one who is making the action and the object is the one who is receiving the action. And the other purpose for the relative pronoun that it can connect two sentences together or two clauses together to change it into a complex sentence. So we can use them as a conjunction. Okay. Let's study this example. I have, I have a friend, she lives in New England. Now, I have two simple sentences here, separated by a follow stop. But if you have noticed that there is something in common between these two sentences, what is it? Friend and she. Friend and she. She refers to what? To friend. So now, I want to use the red pronoun to connect these two sentences together. And one of the basic main rules to connect the two simple sentences together with the red pronoun, that these two sentences should have something in common. It means that the second sentence must have a pronoun that refers to a noun that is in the first sentence. Here we go. That's what, it will go in this way. I have a friend who lives in New England. What happened here? Yes, I deleted the follow stop because I connected the two sentences together and I eliminated the pronoun. Why? Because I used who instead of it. Who here replaced she? Because who here is a relative pronoun, I use it here as a conjunction. And at the same time, it acts like what? A subject, like she here. Who refers to she and replace it. And no more full stop anymore because now I have a complex sentence. Okay, now what did I do? Again, I connected two main clauses with the relative pronoun who. I changed it into a complex sentence. What are the types of the relative pronoun? We have three types. Subject relative pronoun, object relative pronoun, and possessive relative pronoun. We're going to study each one of them separately. The subject relative pronoun, they are who, which, and that. Who, which, and that. What each one of them used for? Who is used to refer to people? Which is used to refer to things? that uh, can refer to both people and things. Okay. Each one of them can replace, uh, each one of those three, yes, can replace the subject pronoun in a sentence. What are the subject pronoun? Are the pronoun that 
are the one who's making the action instead of using the names i can use the pronouns instead of it like he she they i we and it this is the subject pronoun let's move to the object pronoun object pronoun or the object character pronoun yeah they are mean that it refers to the one who is receiving the action not the one who's making the so uh, that's in both the there are the things both people and things here fine the object character pronoun would replace which pronoun do you think it will replace the object pronoun too what is the object pronoun which is him her them me us and it like when you say i met him i is a subject here we call the subject pronoun met is the verb whom did you meet yes him him here is object pronoun because he is the one who is receiving your action the one who whom you meet got it the last type is the possessive root pronoun possessive means owing something to have something something that belongs to you we have only one root one possessive root pronoun which is whose and as long as we have only one possessive root pronoun it means that it will work for people and things together okay what kind of root uh, of uh, sorry what kind of possessive pronoun it will so replace it will replace those possessive pronoun his her its our or their and whose can be fair as i told you to both people and things is everything going well with you? Can you offer your mark and tell me if there's a problem so far? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's go to the exercise. Now, the second step, how can I connect or how I can combine two sentences together using the rate of pronoun? We have three main steps. If you will follow them in each time, it will make the uh, connecting the two sentences using the rate of pronoun so easy for you. And I'll keep repeating them for you till you manage it well. Read these two sentences now. The first one, the boy has been traced. The second one, he went missing on Friday. Now, I have two simple sentences together. If there's something common between them, can you open your mic and tell me? Um, you can keep your, your no, mic no. open as long as you are not talking to each other, yes. If there's something in common between them, I mean, uh, do we have the similar uh, subject here or the similar person here between these two sentences or not? Yes. Yes. What is the similar thing? What is the common thing here? Uh, he would. Yes, excellent. Now, I have two sentences and the second one has a, a, a pronoun, which is he, and he refers to the boy there. Fine. How can I connect these two sentences together? As you said, he here in the second sentence refers to the word boy in the other uh, in the first sentence. So this means that uh, we have, plus in in other words, we have that both denote or they both re refer to the same person, which is the boy. Is that okay with you so far? Yes. Okay, fine, great. Oops, what happened? What's the first step? The first step, number one, look at the second sentence, which is this. Find out the pronoun that uh, you would replace it by the red pronoun. Which pronoun I want to replace here? He. he. Excellent. Yes. Let's find out. He here acts like a subject or an object or possessive pronoun. Uh, he went. Sub hmm? Subject. Excellent. Subject. Excellent. He is subject. And now, which red pronoun I can use, red pronoun that I can use <laughs> to replace here? Who? Yes, we have who, which, and that. We have who, which, and that. Do you think that which will work here? No. Why? Uh, because... Uh, because... It refers to... <laughs> huh? Yes? Which of a little thing? To things. Excellent. To things only. So what's left now? Uh -huh. Who uh, or... Who, yeah. who or that? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hmm. so yes, who the... or that that's right i can replace he with who or that so yes. this is the first step the first step yes fine in the second sentence the pronoun that you will replace it with the pronoun this i have finished the first step let's go to the second one mm. 
Let's go to the second one. The second one, rewrite the second sentence with the written pronoun. So it will go like what? Can you remember the second sentence? Uh, I showed to you. Can you? Went. No, now replace the written pronoun. When, who went? Uh, who, yes. Who went missing on Friday? Excellent, excellent. That's great. That's great. <coughs> so this is the second step. Yes, the second step to rewrite the second sentence with the written pronoun and eliminate the, the pronoun which is what's he. So this is the new the new the new second sentence. Who went missing on Friday? Now what's left? To insert insert uh, this yes to insert this second sentence into the the first one. How can I insert it? Oh, we have another yes. You can say that went missing on Friday or who went missing fri on Friday. The third step. You have to insert this written clause that you have created into the, the first sentence. Like we have something to know about this. This written clause that you have created, it should be replaced where? Immediately after the noun that it refers to, which is the boy. So, so it will go in this yes. way, the boy. And then your written clause. Hmm? That or who? Yes, the boy who. Huh? Went missing on Friday. Yes, and then the rest of the sentence uh, has been traced. Has been traced. Do we have another version? Yeah. Huh? The boy that. Excellent. Yes, yeah, great. Uh, went missing on Friday has been traced. Twice. Who's who, who's talking with me? Because I'm sorry, I can't see the yeah, the list. Ahmed, 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 Ahmed. Okay. So this is the second version. Have you noticed what's the difference between the first one and the second one in the punctuation? Oh, uh, the, the, the comma. Yes, the comma. Yeah, the comma. In the first one, I put comma, and the second one, I didn't. Number one, why did I put comma here? When I put the relative clause that I have created between two comma, it means that it is not essential. Why is not essential? Because the boy here is defined. When I say the boy, it means that you know this boy has been traced. That's it. So no need to, to mark him for you. That's why I put the comma, because this is non-essential information if you delete it or eliminate it or cancel it so you will, the the meaning of the sentence will not change but what about that here yes that is the only relative pronoun is not used with comma in any case whether whether the the information is essential or non-essential we can't use comma with that that's it fine so now i you have to memorize those three steps number one fine in the second sentence the pronoun that you need to replace it with and one of what's referred to? Yes, uh, and, and decide this pronoun, is it subject or object or possessive? The second one, rewrite the second sentence with the relative, relative pronoun. It means that you are creating a new relative clause. The third one, insert this relative clause into the, the first sentence by putting it where? Just immediately after the noun that it refers to. That's what I have. I have split the first sentence. This is the first sentence. The boy has been traced. I, I, I split it with what? With the subject, this um, relative clause, which this means that it comes immediately after the boy. Who? Follow the, the name that it refers to. Tell me that you are following and everything is going clear. Yes, yes. Great. Now, let's have this exercise. And we will follow the same steps. Jamal has given a cash award. He won the first prize in the quiz competition. Let's follow the first. Mm -hmm. Yes, the first step. Look at uh, the second sentence. He, he, the man, he, the man. Yes, the second sentence, and try to find this. Excellent. He, yes, this is the the pronoun that it refers to Gamal. This means that they have two common common things. Now, what kind of pronoun? Is it subject, object, or uh, possessive? Uh, subject. Excellent. Great. It is subject. Now we need the second step to rewrite this second sentence with the the relative pronoun hmm. uh, uh, the man? without answering the whole sentence i want to just uh, uh, yes you the the relative pronoun with the second sentence only who that who that who what who and that who which who which how what is that uh, what uh, is uh, that <laughs> guys <laughs> who <laughs> and which <laughs> and who did <laughs> where we were where is this <laughs> yes who and that Again, uh, who? who? Hold on. We were just who doing that? what? Cancel this pronoun, eliminate it, and put it. Who or that? Who or that? Fine. Thank you. I'm sorry. I heard it. Who or that? 
لا قلت هو اند ذات هو هو اند ذات اند ذات اوكي فاين ون اوف ذيم لا قلت هو اند ذات هو اند ذات اند ذات يس اي نو اي فين ها ام ام باك اجين ام اي باك اجين كان في دي بوت هو يا ها And who won the first prize in the quiz competition? Now we have finished two steps. What's the third step? Answer. Uh, yes, answer to this. This, this, now I have now what you call this close, a relative close, because it start with the relative pronoun. What is this sound? Yeah. What is this sound? Well, Ahmed, yeah, well, Stop it! Hey, Stop it! it. <laughs> sound A. Okay, who? My, this, this is. My. Yes, yes. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, yes, a lot yeah, of noise. Who won the first yeah. prize in the quiz? This is, this is my, the second sentence I turned into a relative close. Why? Because it starts with a relative pronoun where should i answer yeah. this relative pronoun <laughs> this is the third the third huh? step we need to answer yeah, this relative relative close yeah, man. huh yeah, man. huh uh comma okay who won the first prize in the quiz competition comma excellent comma uh huh <laughs> Sonia, uh, was given, was give, a, was given a cash. Guys, uh, guys, you are, yes, you are amazing, really. You are amazing, really. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. This is the two version of the relative, relative close. Who won the first <sighs> prize in the quiz or that won the yes, first prize in the quiz competition? Okay. Yeah, I have. Yeah. مايك بتاعك انت يا عم اعمل له ايه خلاص اهو This is the third step. It will go in this way as you said it exactly. Jamal yes. who won the first prize in the quiz competition was given a cash award. I put it between two comma because this is non essential. But again, if I use that, I won't use comma. If I use that, I won't use comma. Fine? Okay. Yes. Second thing. Did you like my design? I designed myself by the way. Oh, oh really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go to the second, the second exercise. <laughs> uh, don't we have any girl with us here in this session? <laughs> Only three. <laughs> Can you guys stop talking in Arabic, please? Please, please. Yes. Remember, I'm recording this, so everyone is going to listen to it. Oh, oh yes. yes, take care. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. yes me. The second sentence. She <laughs> married. She married a rich businessman. I don't like him. I don't like him. Let's follow the same steps. Number one. Look at the second she, sentence. Find out she, the pronoun uh, that will replace by the relative. Which which pronoun here is said? Yani, you have something to refer to. She. 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 She you him how she and him how a businessman i have only one thing i sh you should find only one thing common between the two sentences she you i i want answer she married rich businessman the second sentence i don't like him hmm. which pronoun in this second sentence refer to another name him or businessman thank you who answered Ahmed, yeah. thank you you are better than being in the class, Ahmed. <laughs> so that's right. The second, the sec in the second sentence, I had this pronoun, which is him, and it refers to this noun, the rich businessman. The second step. Yes. Which related pronoun do you think will replace this pronoun? Uh, who? Who? No. No. Him here. Him here. Is it subject, object, or possessive? Subject. Uh, object. Object, great. How subject, ya Faris? Oh. I don't like him. Ya Faris, Faris, listen to me. I hear it the su I'm here the subject, the one who's making the action, the one who don't like him. Yes. So my action is do I'm doing this action to whom? To someone else, which is him. So him here is an object, the one who's receiving the action. 
So here it's object. Do you remember what were the object to pronoun? Whom, uh, which, 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 and that. Which, Who, uh, which, which and that. And Great. So which one of them will match here? Which? Which for things? No, uh, the, uh, the, uh, whom, that. Who, whom, whom. Whom or that. Both of them are correct. Both of them are correct. So which? can only refer to things. Therefore, it cannot be used in this case. But we can use whom or that. So what did the, let's rewrite the second sentence using it. How would it be written? Can you say it? Uh, she married. No, married forget, she about, forget about the first sentence. I need the second sentence only. You write it using... I or whom? What? What did you say? I don't like whom? Does it make sense? No, I will uh, remove I. Why you remove I? No, no. Yeah, I you I'm have afraid. to remove this pronoun only because this is the oh, one. Oh, him, Malish. Oh, I will. Fine. I don't. I, hmm. I don't like. Uh, I I <laughs> yes, we need to replace <laughs> it with whom or that. Hmm. That. What will you say? I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Does it make sense? Like, yeah. She married a rich bus businessman. I don't like that. Th that here means that you don't like the marriage. Hey, Mr. Ramadan Kareem, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Mr. Look, you replace the object pronoun him in this sentence with the red <laughs> pronoun him. Uh, I replaced him, yeah, Mr. With whom and that. But where would we put whom? <laughs> where we will we put it? Yes, we will not put it here uh, at the end. Uh, we uh, him, it, yes, we we'll, we'll put it here at the beginning. Yes, yes it, it will comes at the beginning of its close. Do you remember when we were using the 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 other two? Yes, we said who yes, said, yes who went to school, which ate the, uh, the the food. Yes, we put the red pronoun always at the beginning of the close. So we will bring whom or that and put it here at the beginning of the close. So it will be written like, huh? Uh, whom? Uh, that I don't like him. That I don't like. No, خلاص, no more him. No more him. No, Mr. That, I, that I don't like. Yeah, that I don't like or whom I don't like. So it you can you can say it in this way. Whom I don't like. This is correct. That, but if you write it in this way, I don't like whom. This is wrong. Um, Got it? Or you can say that I don't like. That's correct. Both are correct. Okay. So when I will write it in the correct version, yes. It will be like that. She oh, married a rich man. businessman whom I don't like or that I don't excellent like. Excellent, great. That I don't like. Thank you. You are amazing, Rin. Welcome. Fine. The last one. The last exa example. I have a friend. Her brother serves in the army. I have Hero friend. Great. Great. Great job. Hey, 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 excellent. Hey, hey. Excellent. Yes. Hair. Yeah. Thank and you. friend. We, hair? we remove hair and put uh, one question. Which, uh, one question. One question. You now you yes. pass the first step correct. You find the pronoun that you will replace. Which red pronoun are you going oh. to replace it with? Subject, oh. object, oh. or possessive? Hmm? Object. Think. Subject, object, or possessive pronoun. Possessive. Eh, possessive. Yes, possessive. Hair, brother. Something that belongs to hair. So. Here, it will be possessive, and we have only one possessive, yes, red pronoun, which is whose, whose. right? Which is whose. So it will yes. go this way. It, it will be whose brother serves in the army. It will be, I have a friend yeah. whose brother serves in the army. Fine? Yes. That's it. Uh, I will end the session now, and we should have another session, uh, I think, when? 11.30? Right? Yes. yes. And in, yeah. in this session, we are going to answer extra exercise, online exercises. And then we may have time to answer the, this question in your sheet. But tell me, do you have any questions so far? Is it clear to you? Yeah, that's possessive. Yes. Yes, I was, I was. Which one? The possessive? Yeah. Yes, possessive. It means something belongs. Yeah, yeah, yes, hair brother. Sure brother. Look, look, hair brother. When you said my book, my is possessive pronoun. His book, his is possessive pronoun. Hair brother, hair yeah. is possessive pronoun. Fine. I have uh -huh. only one possessive red pronoun to replace it, which is whose. Who's yes, whose. Yeah. 
That's why I use who's here instead of her. Tamam. Got it? Okay, by the way, in the um, in our exercise, you have we have extra exercise related to who's and whom. So just yes, uh, to emphasize it for you more and explain it more. Fine? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to run because I have another session in 9B. Okay. okay, thank you. I'm happy to hear you really, to listen to you too. I missed you. <laughs> Way more. Okay, okay. Way more. Way more. I think enough, enough, <laughs> enough, enough. No need to stop. <laughs> just can you wait with just a minute? I want you to just um, uh, write your name, the people who attended with me. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry? I will answer your question if you talk to me in English. When I'm about telling English, I didn't hear the you. quiz will be Q and A only, or uh, it will be what? Q and A. Uh, choose MCQ. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes, it will be MCQ, inshallah. I didn't get you. I told you. Stop talking Arabic. Uh, and let me go. Let me go. The quiz of uh, quarters three. Ahmed, let me go. Will be. I have a session to join right okay. now. Okay, thank you. Fine, we are going to meet again. That's a bad ending. Tell me, quickly. <laughs> Miss, okay, uh, the quiz, uh, the quarter exam will be uh, different uh, or uh, all the Another. classes will be the same. As long as you have studied well and attended my session and my revision, don't worry, it will be so easy for you. Are you okay? I know him. I must have this one. I know. Yes, for the other, other <laughs> subjects. <laughs> okay, Ahmed, yeah. Ahmed, Ahmed, we will talk again. No. Okay, don't worry. Just attend early, no, attend okay. the my coming session early, and we can talk before starting it. No, I she, promise. Uh, she uh, the, the coming session, yes, inshallah. No, okay. Okay. No, the, today, we have another session today. Okay. Right. Okay, see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>